Dr. Phil, I just wanted to yeah. show you something that happened this morning. Let me play it. I wish I could see you. I wish you were here. I can't wait to see you. Get through all that blur. Hug you, squeeze you. I just want to hold you forever. I want to hold you forever too, babe. We'll see each other soon, I promise. If a stranger walked in on this, you would not even think that only two months ago they were connected to this alleged crime spree. Now he's in jail now, right? Yes, he is. He's got robbery with a firearm, mm -hmm. unauthorized use of a vehicle, uh, engaging in a pattern of criminal offense, possession of a firearm. What I'm really interested in finding, if you can have research look this up, if he is convicted and she is on probation, I'm suspecting that she cannot have contact with a known felon. So that means once you go on probation, if you violate it, you go straight to jail. So no more lovey-dovey phone calls? No, call, no phone calls, no nothing. So I'll see you soon. No, you won't. She doesn't even get this. I have yeah. No idea. They're in for a rude awakening. Okay, I want you to imagine watching the news and realizing that they're talking about your child. A multi-state violent crime spree comes to an end in Guthrie. After days of being on the run, 30-year-old Lawrence Lewis is in jail. Saturday night, investigators say Lewis and 23-year-old Alexis Nugent robbed a clerk at this Dollar General at gunpoint. They're also accused of running from police in North Texas, stealing a car, and coming to Oklahoma. Officers arrested Nugent, but Lewis escaped. News 9 photographer Joby McAdams spots a man believed to be Lewis swimming in the middle of the lake. Finally, this morning, a homeowner holds Lewis at gunpoint after he breaks into their garage. Lewis will also face a burglary charge in Logan County. As for Nugent, she's behind bars on a robbery and accessory complaint. Well, Stacy says her 23-year-old daughter, Alexis, still faces charges for what police claim is her part in an interstate crime spree with her boyfriend, Lance. Now, one stop in the alleged crime spree was a dollar store where authorities say Lance was caught on a security camera pointing a gun at an employee. Alexis' mother, Stacy, and grandmother, Vicki, say Alexis has fallen under the spell of a man who they fear will absolutely destroy her. On my birthday, my daughter Alexis texted me saying happy birthday that she would see me in a couple hours. I never heard back from my daughter until she was in jail. Alexis and her boyfriend Lance have this weird Bonnie and Clyde thing going on. She told me on this trip that they had a death pact. Because of the crime spree that Alexis and Lance went on, Alexis is facing three felony charges, including two counts of grand theft auto, accessory to an armed robbery, criminal mischief among counties, and that's just in Oklahoma. I want to believe she didn't know what was going down when these crimes started, but anything Lance tells her to do, she does. I told you something different when I was in jail because I was in jail and everybody was telling me a certain way to do it. Right now, Lance is facing a lot of jail time and may not even get out of prison until he's 40 or 50. I hope she's not gonna waste her life waiting on somebody for all that time. I think Alexis is with Lance because of her past traumas. He's a support system for her and she feels protected by him. Alexis was sexually assaulted when she was 18. She completely changed after the assault. Everything with her has been way more explosive. I don't know if she really understands how much trouble she's actually in. She doesn't seem to register reality. And before all this, I tried to tell Alexis to dump Lance, but she didn't want to hear any of this. I was hanging out with people doing bad stuff before this. I had serious concerns about this guy. I knew Lance had a record, and I knew he carried a gun and I saw that he was pathological. What I fear most out of this situation is Alexis will either be in prison or I will have to take care of her for the rest of my life. At this point, I don't know how to communicate with her. 